politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, we thank God it's a brand new day right here on The Buzz UG. And my name is Melanz Milo, a.k.a. Fula. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, I'm coming to you with the biggest stories making headlines in the country. Now, Farida Nambima, the Public Relations Officer, Traffic Police and Road Safety, has confirmed a fatal accident that happened yesterday at Kasaka Secondary School in Gomba District, where a Sino truck registration number UBL 790 lost control and rammed into a building at school. <laughs> Uh, the building was a computer lab that was occupied by students. Uh, three students were confirmed dead on sports and 18 others injured critically and currently in hospital. Police says they have arrested the truck driver, a 26-year-old, and they'll be giving us more details on this story. Well, those are some of the voices coming in from that side of Kasaka Secondary School in Gomba District. A very quick recovery to the injured and uh, may the souls of uh, the departed rest in peace. Well, almost every media house and uh, social media platforms right here in Uganda have reported about Bushira Najuko, a bride who recently went missing two days before her wedding. Now, the latest update about this story is that uh, she's been found. According to Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson Patrick Onyango, her family compelled her to get married to a man she didn't love, and uh, Bushira decided to hide from uh, this whole family wedding program uh, two days before the D-Day. <laughs> And actually this has been the main comment on social media. Many people suspected she was hiding somewhere because she was not interested in marrying the person the family wanted. And I think I agree with Patrick Onyango. Uh, this should be a lesson to parents that compel their children to get married to rich men. You know, let your children decide for themselves. <laughs> Now, Uganda Christian University main campus is mourning the death of their students, identified as Nandera Violet Wawire, who reportedly died of pneumonia at Sambia Hospital yesterday. It should be remembered that last week, another student identified as Salatiel Begumisa from the same university was knocked dead in Mukono town as he attempted to cross the road at 5 a.m. Well, it's very sad at UCU. May their souls rest in peace. Now, relatedly, Radio Simba's reporter in Kayunga district identified as Kato Vicent has died. Kato has been reporting for Radio Simba for over 20 years. May his soul rest in peace. Now, former gospel singer Julie Mutesasira has warned Ugandan pastors talking about her children. You know, many people have been dragging her children into the homosexuality saga going on in Uganda, and Julie is not happy at all. According to Julie, her children are having a good time in Canada and also having a good education. 
Julie has appealed to Ugandan pastors to preach the word of God, not her children, because she believes what made the pastors famous is the gospel, not her children's names. Well, finally for now, Martins Okoth Ochola, the Inspector General of Police, has given permission to civilians to fall in love and have romantic relationships with police officers without fear. According to reports, civilians can now approach or be approached by police officers if they are not in uniforms. Ochola said as long as they don't misuse police uniforms and firearms, they are free to enjoy themselves. So if there is any police officer that you really have a crush on, don't fear to approach. Go right ahead and tell how you feel about them. I have seen many Ugandans on Twitter crushing on this police officer, Afande Morina Tuhaire. Yes, yeah, so I think this is the right time for us to make a move. <laughs> Anyways, that is it on the Buzz UG for now. In case you have anything you want to comment on these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Very soon, I'm coming visual, by the way. So make sure that you keep it right here on the Buzz UG. Yes, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.